Well, good morning, everyone. It's very nice and quiet, mostly. So quiet. It's very peaceful. Anyway, it's great to have you. Let's stand up together. Psalm one, uh, or, I'm sorry, Luke 149 uh, is a song of praise uh, by Mary, uh, the mother of Jesus, when she finds out that she is going to give birth uh, to Jesus. The angel has given that announcement to her. And it says uh, that God has done great things in the world and for her. We're going to sing this song about God doing great things. I want you to take a moment this morning. Just want you to maybe just close your eyes for a minute and just to think about what God has done for you in this last week. Uh, the great things he has done for you. Let's, let's enter into this uh, moment in an attitude of praise reflecting on what he's done for us.
All right, go ahead and have a seat for a second. It's great to have you here this morning. We, I forgot, I've had quite a morning. Uh, hey, uh, is Jeff back there? Jeff just walked away. Are you getting the ballots, Jeff? Ballots are on the desk in there. Today is our uh, annual election Sunday. And uh, what that means is that anyone who's a member here at South Bend First Church of Nazareth, you've gone through the membership class or become a member, um, and are 15 years of age or older, uh, we are going to be electing our church board for the next, well, the, the positions that are open on the church board for the next year, as well as um, our delegates to our district assembly. So every year, the Church of the Nazarene, we're broken up into districts all across, around the world. And, uh, and so we send delegates from each church to the district assembly to also vote on issues and uh, make decisions for the, the larger church. So we're going to be sending delegates uh, for that. So I'm going to have the ushers. They're going to come out. If you are a member and 15 years or older, would you stand up, please? This isn't to exclude anyone. We're going to have another membership class soon, and you can uh, have a chance to join them. But if you're a member of, of South Bend First Church of the Nazarene, 15 years or older, um, stand. We'll get a ballot. And then you can take a moment and just fill it out. Uh, a lot of the positions are a yes or no vote. That means I only had one person who said yes <laughs> to running as a uh, uh, putting their name for, for nomination. Because um, we do try to get multiples on there. Uh, if there is more than one, it'll say vote for one only or it'll say vote for, I think the other one is vote for four. So please take a moment and uh, if you could do that, we can play a little music up there. Just uh, kind of entertain the masses. Oh, we get to vote too, yes. Um, why don't we bring those up here? Thanks. So while we're doing that, and I've got a pen here, guys. A few announcements just to make you aware of. Um, first of all, I want to really uh, draw your attention to something really important starting next week. Next Sunday, which happens to be Valentine's Day, exciting, is uh, our sacred marriage. Our sacred marriage. Uh, Class. It's going to be starting at 9.15, thank you Jeff, at 9.15 in a class right outside um, the sanctuary over here. If you are married, or even maybe thinking about getting married, looking over here, um, <laughs> if you're married or thinking about getting married, we would love to invite you to that. Terry and Holly Minix uh, are going to be uh, leading that class. Would you, Terry's up here, wait for me and Terry, all right. Uh, Terry and his wife, where is Holly? She's usually over here somewhere. There's Holly in the back, waving her hand. Um, they're going to be leading the class. They've been married over 50 years now, I think, right? Yeah, which is awesome. Um, so they have uh, a life, literally a lifetime experience of marriage, and they're going to be leading this class. So I want to encourage you. Uh, it's like, is it an eight-week or ten-week class? Seven to eight weeks, okay? So if you're part of another Sunday school uh, class, you know, you're know you not going to be gone forever. Um, but I really want to encourage you to consider being a part of that. At 9.15, young couples, listen, you, you cannot do anything better for your future and your family and your marriage than to invest in your marriage right now. So make plans to be here at 9.15 next Sunday um, in the class right over here. Now, I need to make an appeal. Let's turn that down just a little bit. Um, I need to make an appeal. The rest of you, maybe those who have been married a long time and not going to be a part of that, or, or maybe you're not married any longer, whatever. We need uh, one to two people to help uh, do child care during that time for those seven or eight weeks. Okay, this is really serious. We need somebody to watch that. Pastor Brennan doesn't have enough volunteers to cover that. So I need one to two of you that are out there right now, or maybe watching the video and you just aren't here this week, um, to let Pastor Brenda or myself know you really, we really need somebody to, to cover child care for that hour. We don't have nursery care, and most of our young couples, um, thank God, they have so wonderful, beautiful babies and toddlers right now. So I need one of you to step up, if you're not currently serving in another area, uh, to come alongside and you get to care for some babies and things like that. I know some of you love that kind of thing. So Please really be praying about that, asking the Lord, and I need you to respond. You can maybe even write on a yellow connection card there in the pew rack in front of you and just say, I'll do nursery care for the marriage class. And then um, and turn that into the, the, uh, one of the connection boxes by the doors on your way out today. Okay? So that's really serious. I really need somebody to do that. I don't usually make a plea that strongly, but I'm making it strongly today. Okay? So that's coming up because we want to we want to uh, support our young marriages that, or or long time marriages, whatever. If you need a tune up, that's fine. 
Uh, and one of the ways to do that is to provide childcare for those classes, okay? So I talked about the marriage class uh, enough. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's coming up next week uh, on Valentine's Day. Husbands, get your wives there. What a Valentine's gift. Say, I love you so much, I want to invest in our marriage. All right, another thing is picture day is coming up at the end of the month um, and in the first part of March. If you have not had a picture, uh, you're new at this church here, you haven't had a picture for our pictorial directory, uh, we'd love to have you sign up for that. Uh, Pastor Christina, where's Pastor Christina? She's in the back there. She's kind of running that program so you can see her and talk to her. There's more information in the bulletin there about that. The last thing I want to let you know is coming up in a few weeks, we're having a special uh, youth Sunday uh, on Sunday morning. Uh, where our youth, uh, this year they normally have what's called Celebrate Life, where they get to go and they get to use their gifts and talents to, to honor God and to show those off. Um, but that's canceled this year, so we decided to have one here uh, at South Bend First. And so they're going to be leading us in worship. We're going to hear a message from one of our teens as well as from our youth pastor. Um, we're also going to be seeing some quizzing, uh, some artwork. Um, I know Emily uh, Gilbert's got something she's going to do really special up in front of everyone. So we're looking forward to that. And... Um, Anyway, so please be uh, plan to be here on the 28th for that. Okay? All right. Let's continue in worship then. Let's stand together. Lord, we just want to invite you right now, your presence, your spirit to come into this place. We want to push aside any distraction. We want to focus our hearts and our minds, our attention, our, our spiritual eyes upon you and you alone. We need you to move in a powerful way right now. Lord, we pray as this song cries out, as a cry of our heart, that you would fall on us now, that your Holy Spirit would just descend upon this place. God, move in this place. Speak to each one. Speak to the hearts that are here. Draw us close to you, Lord. Pray that you would convict us of our waywardness. Bring us to a point of repentance. I pray that you would encourage a, a hurting and broken heart that's here this morning. I pray that you would give direction to those that need it. Lord, would you just fall upon this place right now in this moment, we ask. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's sing it out together.
have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way opened for us through the curtain that is his body. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Praise God. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. We sing this prayer with me.
turn your eyes on Jesus. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look for his wonderful face. And the So we're going to sing that again. I want to encourage you to come forward and kneel this out. So, God, we just give you praise and thanks this morning from the very beginning for that, for hearing and for answering our prayer. Our Father, we're thankful that we have a place like this that we can come, we can gather together. Lord, we know that there are many around this country and as well as around this world that cannot meet in person together today, that can't be here to receive the encouragement that comes from being with other believers, God, the, the smiling face, the, the word of encouragement, the moment of prayer in a hallway or in a classroom, or, or Lord, to gather together to hear the words spoken this morning. And so, God, we don't take it for granted, but we give you praise and thanks. We thank you for how you've watched over South Bend First Church of the Nazarene, They're, that the, uh, the, the virus has not spread uh, through anyone that's been in contact here at the church during one of our services. And our trust is in you. God, it's not in cloth masks, it's not in social distancing, it's in you. And so we pray for your continued protection and watch over us as your people, God. Give us courage to live into what you've called us to live into. Not to live in fear, Lord, not to live in worry, but God, to live in courage. Because we trust the greatest God, the one who is Lord over all things, over all creation. So we praise you, Lord, we thank you for that. Lord, there are many needs and concerns represented some down here at this altar right now, God, crying out to you, uh, Lord, that need your touch, 
for a family member, a friend, somebody that we know that is lost and maybe away from you. Lord, you're coming back again soon. You are going to return. And Lord, you've made a way for us to be a part of that return, God. To be uh, caught up in the air with you. Caught up in the clouds with you to spend eternity with you. But Lord, we know so many who haven't yet given their hearts and lives to you. Who haven't received, who haven't accepted the offer of salvation. So God, our hearts this morning, we cry out for them. Loved ones, friends, family workers, co-workers, God. We pray for our world, our lost world. God, we pray for truth. We pray for what's right. We pray for what's best to be done in our country and around the world. Lord, there's so many, you know, save, so much saber rattling right now. The countries are amassing armies. Lord, there's threats of war and rumors of war. Lord, in our own country, uh, abortion continues unabated, Lord, even promoted now, God. Even more protections for the unborn are stripped away in these last few weeks. God, it breaks our heart, and so we pray, God, for an end to those things. We pray for your truth to permeate our hearts and our minds of our young people. Lord, we think about them, God. They're so uh, pulled in so many directions, God. Friends that are so lost and confused as the blind leading the blind. And so we pray for our young people, our teens and our children, God, that, that you would get a hold of their hearts and minds from an early age and they would walk with you and know you in a real personal way, God. Your word talks about how young people can be leaders and examples in speech, life, love, faith, and purity. So I pray that for our young people, God, when they meet somebody from South Bend first, they're like, wow, there's something different about that teen. There's even something different about that kid or that young adult. And that's because they've encountered you, the real risen Savior, Jesus Christ, and your word. And it's, it's rooted in their heart and in their minds. And they see clearly because of that. Father, I pray for us as leaders and adults, God, that we would lead the way faithfully. Uh, so many times we've advocated our responsibility as parents. Uh, we've maybe let our families drift. Maybe as uh, older adults, God, we've stepped back from things where we, little Lord, you've called us to step forward. I pray that, God, you would help us not to cower, not to put on cruise control, but, God, to press forward uh, in these last days. God, however many there may be, God, that we would press forward. Press on for your kingdom. The gates of hell will not prevail against your church that you are building. That's our prayer today. Lord, now as we come to your word, I pray, Lord, that you would just uh, anoint my, my, my heart, my mind, my mouth, God, as I speak. God, it would be your words, not mine. I pray that you would open hearts and open minds and open eyes to see and to hear and receive your word this morning. God, we want to draw near to you as the song we just sang said. Near to your sight. Draw near to us. Speak to us now, we ask. We thank you so much for meeting with us here. Thank you for being here at this altar, in this place, in this room. We love you and we praise you in Jesus' precious and holy name. And everybody said together, amen. amen.